Japanese government officials are reconsidering their guidelines for decontaminating forests. Radioactive materials from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant have tainted soil and trees. Environment ministry experts had planned to limit the cleanup effort to forests within 20 meters of communities and campsites in Fukushima prefecture. But municipal leaders called for a wider decontamination zone. They say forests are integral to the lives of people who live there. They point out that forests make up about 70% of the prefecture. They say excluding most of this area from the decontamination effort would hamper reconstruction. Local government and forestry industry officials will meet next week to exchange their views. Environment ministry officials say they'll consider those views when revising their plan. People in the United States can get a taste of Japanese beef once again. The U.S. has announced it will resume beef imports from Japan. They were suspended more than two years ago after a foot and mouth disease was found in cows in southwestern Japan. Originally, beef shipments from Japan were scheduled to begin last week. It's after no new cases of the disease had been reported. They were postponed, though, due to concerns about the effects of last year's nuclear accident. U.S. authorities confirmed Friday that they had found no evidence of radioactivity in data supplied by Japan's agriculture ministry. Japanese dairy farmers plan to begin shipping two tons of beef to the United States by air at the end of this month. Before the outbreak of foot and mouth disease, the United States accounted for 10 percent of Japan's total beef exports. Experts in Japan are telling cleanup crews in the Northeast to be aware of hidden dangers and debris generated by last year's tsunami. They gave the warning after probing the death of a man who worked on the recovery effort following a 1995 disaster. The man died last year of mesothelioma. It's an asbestos-related cancer. He was 65. He worked part-time for two months in 1995, removing debris shortly after a magnitude 7.3 earthquake hit western Japan. He argued he inhaled asbestos during the cleanup and that caused his illness. He said he'd done no other asbestos-related work and had not lived close to asbestos factories. Experts say the incubation period of the disease is around 40 years. They note it's possible more patients could come forward related to the 1995 quake cleanup. As for last year's disaster, many people have worked on removing debris the tsunami generated. Experts say safety precautions must be taken at all times, even for volunteers who do short stints. Asbestos is scattered around because of the tsunami. It's dangerous to inhale the material even a small amount. People should take preventive measures, such as wearing masks. The man who developed cancer applied for workers' compensation before his death in October last year. Labor ministry officials recognized he was eligible, but only did so this past June. Got a nuclear event in uh, South Korea. Apparently one of their nuclear reactors has been operating since 1988. Shut itself down uh, due to one of the gauges or whatnot. Uh, they haven't filled out a complete report, but uh, no threat to the community kind of thing. Uh, Yamada, the Z and E news, of course. Yamada, we cannot cover Fukushima Daiichi reactors like after Chernobyl. It's more complex than that. And, of course, uh, the Japanese didn't even attempt like the Russians to dig under and try to contain this thing. Uh, listen, melted fuel may have broken through concrete under reactors. TEPCO just assuming it didn't 
Fukushima volunteer says in an audio interview. And we all knew. Three. They've already reported the three have melted through. Many Fukushima nuclear wor workers uh, leaving after exceeding exposure limit. Young people must be trained to work at plant, a Tokyo professor is saying. So they're going to start grabbing these kids out of high school when they're still dumb. Six-year-old playing on radioactive waste dump 20 kilometers north of Fukushima Daiichi. Teacher, quote, I'm lying to a room full of students. Fukushima should, city should be evacuated. Reactor specialists on unit number three. I can't tell you if it's a hydrogen explosion or a nuclear explosion. Ah, Japan nuclear expert. Melted fuel may have gone through cement floor and into the ground under Fukushima reactors. I don't believe TEPCO's claim for one second. Where in the world is it? And, that and uh, physician, we don't know what's happening. Cesium levels in soil not going down after Chernobyl. Some areas have gotten even higher. And just goes to show, after 30 years, there's just still nothing they can really do about this. <sighs> the insanity continues. Nuclear power is a crime against humanity, and all nuclear reactors should be shut down. Japan and the United States are considering boosting defense capabilities in East Asia. Top Japanese and U.S. military officials are discussing installing a more powerful radar system in Japan to strengthen missile defense. The Chief of Staff of Japan's Self-Defense Forces, Shigeru Iwasaki, met with the Chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff, Martin Dempsey, at the Pentagon. They discussed nuclear developments in North Korea and China's military activities. The military officials agreed to bolster cooperation for stability in the Asia-Pacific region. They agreed to consider installing the powerful X-band radar system for early detection of a missile launch and its trajectory. That system is already in place at a self-defense forces base in northern Japan to manage the threat of North Korean missiles. Installation of the radar system in southern Japan would improve capacity to gather information on China's short- and medium-range ballistic missile activities. Hokai. So, here's the earth. It's chilling. Damn, that is a sweet earth, you might say. Brown. All right. Ruling out the ice caps melting, meteors becoming crashed <sighs> into us, the ozone layer leaving, and the sun exploding, we're definitely going to blow ourselves up. Okay. So basically, we've got China, France, India, Israel, Pakistan, Russia, the UK, and us with nukes. We've got about 2,600 more than anybody else. Whatever. Anyway, one day we decide those Chinese sons of a bitches are going down. So we launch and look at China. While it's on its way, China's like, shit, shit, who the fuck is shooting us? Oh well, fire missiles! Then France is like, shit, guys, we got the missiles, they are coming, fire our shit! But then let's hand. Well, have a nap. Then fire the missiles! Meanwhile, Australia is down there like WCF, mates. India, Israel, and Pakistan launched their shit, so now we've got missiles flying everywhere, passing each other. Russia's like, ah, motherland! Then England's like, about that time, eh, chaps? Right up. So now the US is like, fuck, we're dumbasses. Canada's like, what's going on, eh? Australia's still like, WTF. Mars is laughing at us, and some huge media is like, well, fuck that. So, now we've got nuclear winter. Everyone's dead except Australia, and they're still like, WTF. But they'll be dead soon. Fucking kangaroos. But, assuming we don't blow ourselves up, us Californians just have to worry about California breaking off from the United States to go hang with Hawaii. Alaska can come too. The end!